New at 5, we're hearing again from the Alabama Republican Party after Athens police said yesterday a road rage incident was not politically motivated as the GOP claimed. Tonight, the chairman of the Alabama Republican Party is doubling down disputing what Athens police has to say. Way 31 reporter Maddie McCaffrey joins us live in studio with that breaking news update. Maddie? Yeah, Marie and Dan, I just got off the phone with Alabama GOP Chairman John Wall, and he just sent out a new statement. And the party is standing firm saying that their volunteer, Tara Johnson, was the victim of this road rage incident, and that the incident was because of her work supporting Donald Trump for president. Wall says he believes the passenger of the other car instigated the aggression towards Tara Johnson. Athens police, though, said the exact opposite yesterday, saying that the GOP volunteer was the instigator. Now here's a look at some of the Alabama GOP's latest statement about this bizarre situation. Wall is claiming the passenger of the other vehicle got out of her car and grabbed Tara Johnson by the hair and struck her repeatedly in a senseless act of violence. Wall says this incident started at the end of the driveway of the Limestone County GOP headquarters immediately following a Trump campaign sign-waving event. Wall also says first responders suspected political motivation, but the Athens Police Department yesterday said they did not suspect this to be politically motivated at all, and neither woman made any mention of it being so. And ultimately, we need to see the surveillance footage of this road rage incident to determine exactly what happened on Saturday in Athens. And Athens police says they'll be letting us know soon if we're able to see that footage. We'll stay on top of this story as it is continually changing. 